Hello everyone. I'm very happy to uh, to tell you that uh, now I'm going to create videos based on MBC4 architecture. These videos are created by by my group that is a topdevelopers.co.in. This is a group where, uh, who are who want to share some their experiences of in programming to the to their viewers. So this is not uh, this uh, group is not uh, is not created for any kind of profit. This is only for sharing my knowledge and my group knowledge with you. Okay. So now I'm I'm to create a series of MBC architecture, or you can say that I'm now going to create the videos based on MBC4 architecture. Now the as per the requirements are increasing day by day that um, most of companies are required MBC4 architect uh, architecture based technocrates. It means that uh, if any person have knowledge about MBC4, he can get job in any kind of company that can be MBC or any CMM level company. So MBC4, let me uh, let me introduce that uh, what is the MBC4 actually is. MBC4 is 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 not a any kind of new technology. It's just a design pattern. So, what is the design pattern? Design pattern means that uh, how most of developers will work to create an application, and which kind of, uh, what kind of architecture or design they should follow to create their application. All developers will create on this. We can do the modular programming in MBC architecture. If you create any application in MBC4. Then your application will be more interactive. It will decrease the post back, and uh, it will create a great application. So now I want to explain this. That what is MBC4 is actually is. I have created a slide, and I want to share my slide with you. So. This is the introduction. We are going to create a MBC4 based application, and this application is created by top developers. So, what is MBC? Is MBC is stand for Model View and Controller. You can see here, ASP.NET MBC framework is a lightweight, highly testable presentation framework. Can be integrated with ASP.NET. So, if you want to work in MB MBC, you can use the inbuilt framework that is called Razor, or you can create MBC-based application in ASP.NET web forms also. We know that uh, in previous applications we use web forms. This is the old way in working. Because if you write to some validations, if you if you want to implement some validation at the side of client side or server side, and you want that jQuery Ajax should be implemented in your validation, then you have to you have to write more and more code line of code. But if you are using the MBC, it provides many kind of interfaces, many kind of jQuery fi files, many kind of Ajax uh, interface. It can use the JSON just that is a combination of jQuery and Ajax. And you can create a very lightweighted application. Lightweight in the sense, the paging loading time will be de decrease if you create the application in MBC. So, so it have three components. First one is model. Second one is view, and third one is controller. Model, model provides data access layer. It means by using the model class, your code will interact with the database. If you create a view. View is a what end user will see on your page. That is also called presentation layer. By using view, you can display the output of your data. Just take an example that you want to get the data from a table, and you want to show that data in a tabular form in your end to your end user. So you have to create for it a view. After that, the controllers has come. Controller is the sense the controller will get the data from the end user, and it will format data and it will transfer data to the model. So there is a bridge between a model view controller. First of all, user will end user will interact with the view, and the view will uh, uh, take data from the uh, from the controller, and after that that data will be transferred to the model. 
model will interact with the database and database uh, model will uh, we will write some SQL queries in model and it will get data from the database and it will transfer data data through the controller to the view so end user will interact to the view actually right so the components of model as I told you everything at uh, so uh, let me show you that uh, what is a model and view and controller is the model interact with database for instance a list of database records main application logic for database retrieve data from database and store data in database by using a uh, model you can do these kind of operations now come to the view the view represent data the database records is present various form of user data for end user it means you can show the formatted output to the end user by using the view after that the controller the controller controls the input bridge between view and model controls user data and pass data from view to model so let me show you that uh, how it's work and uh, to show uh, uh, sorry, there is a simple MBC3 flow. Actually, this is not a uh, MBC3. I am discussing here only for MBC4 architecture, right? So, let me show an ex a real example that how your application will work. So, if you want to integrate uh, MBC4 architecture in your existing Visual Studio 2010, then you should have uh, some uh, softwares like uh, MBC4 Web Installer and uh, SQL Server 2012 or you can work also in a uh, SQL Server 2008 there is no need to use always to create an application uh, or you are working in MVC4 then you have required uh, uh, only SQL Server 2012 it's not true you can work also in SQL Server 2008 so and so if you are working you want to work in the Visual Studio 2010 then you should have SP1 service pack 1 of Visual Studio 2010 so if you have you can work easily there is no required that uh, you should have always that uh, uh, .NET framework 4.5 you if you have uh, framework 4.0 then you can work easily in MBC4 by using this framework so there are some requirements first one is a Visual Studio 2010 SP1 then SQL Server then MBC framework so let me show you an example so let's see that how we can create a MBC4 WISD application go to the file menu select new project if you click on this new project then you will get a template page so we have .NET Framework 4 and we have a uh, template also that is MBC ASP.NET MBC4 web application actually you can see here the MBC 2 web application also because uh, uh, this was a uh, SP version and a Visual Studio 2010 and uh, whenever I, when I installed this and it uh, installed the MBC 2 web uh, MBC 2 framework but externally I have installed the MBC 4 web application so you can give the name of your MBC based application I want to give name first MBC okay so create okay so it will show some project templates these are some templates so I want to explain the what uh, what template is required and in which application if you select the empty empty template it means that this template can be used when you don't you want to create your own jQuery files your own CSS files your own designing then you will use MT so it will not create directory of controller model view it will not create anything it just provide some references which are required to create a MBC4 application but you have to create all the things another template is the basic template basic templates doesn't provide any kind of things is just like a empty but it have some you know it have some jQuery and uh, CSS files and a uh, master page also and third one is the internet application internet ap application provides some authentication like form authentication you can see here that it uses the fo form authentication it have some pages 
uh, already designed and uh, if you use the internet application sorry uh, internet ap application have all the folders like model view and controller and if you work on the internet application the mean of internet application is that that uh, it is just like same uh, internet application but there's some uh, little bit some differences over here that if you work in internet application it provides the windows authentication right but if you work on the internet application it will g work in the form authentication so create internet application click on ok then you will see the basic ar architecture of your MBC4 based application it will take time so wait for it oh it's taking too much time but we can't do anything we have to wait only let me explain the architecture of your folders then you can see over here these are some properties this is assembly properties and references it will it have all the references to create the MBC based application or you can say uh, so inbuilt classes or assemblies you will hear app data can be used to store your database and app start have the configuration files okay so to to operate your complete application you have to you have to manipulate or you have to set some configurations so we have configuration which have already in app start now contain contains have your themes it means that uh, your CSS files can be uh, stored over here now filters filters is used to you know to uh, to filter your input or anything images uh, images uh, some images model is a, a directory script are the jQuery references files so we have lots of jQuery files so there is no need to create any or use any jQuery file you can use them easily and all the important factors or all the important validations and other work which you have to create in jQuery all are mentioned over here so after that we have views now let me create a simple application that is a uh, uh, that is will uh, that is a MBC based application and it will use the MBC4 architecture. So go to the controller and create a controller. What is a controller? As I told you, that it will call the view. You can write the method over here, and your method will interact with the model. So I want to create a controller over here and I want to create the controller name that should be top developers I don't want to use uh, any kind of uh, design so that's why I'm using here empty MBC controller create add so a controller has been created now you have a method that is the action result index method this method is used to create a view that's why we use over here action result is a class that call the your index page and it will return the view it means that whatever you have written in this method it will show on your the view page okay so let me create a, another method public okay I think uh, the video size will be increased more and more that's why I want to stop this video and in another video you will see the complete example so thanks for watching this video and subscribe my channel